Hi friends, this is Sue Betty from the Bluebird Tavern in Burlington, Vermont. TEND, Exploring the Vermont Foodscape, is a series of video postcards from the many farmers, cheesemakers, brewers, bakers, and other businesses that supply our restaurant with incredible local ingredients. This is a story about how dozens of creative and hardworking people are making a living by producing truly excellent regional products. Joe, how did you get into doing all this? Um, I've been doing coffee like my whole life. Basically, I started working in coffee shops when I was like 16, and I've always done it. I've always roasted coffee for a bunch of different people all over the country, and my first name's Joe. It just works out that way. Last name's? Constantino. Rhymes with cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> here, here's actually the salva negra that, uh, that's used at the, uh, the tavern. It's a um, full city roast, which means it's um, it's a little bit darker than a light roast, which means it's fully uh, invested into the second crack. When you roast coffee, the first crack kind of tells you when the beans are expanding, so the cell walls are coming apart a little bit. And then as you continue roasting, you get to like the second crack where the oils start to develop and the caramelization of sugar is taking place and all that. And then... Uh, if you go beyond that second crack or well into that second crack, you'll get into a French roast. Beyond that, you'll get into Italian roast, Viennese roast, and then it's completely covered in oil and sticking together. But I don't like to do it that dark. A lot of other people do, but this is where like the sugars are fully developed and you get a really nice, um, you know, chocolatey or caramelly or, you know, all this uh, flowery type of aromas and all that comes from the production of sugars in the coffee. Um, some of, some really high-end coffees like Jamaican Blue Mountain or Kona or whatever have they're just recommended to roast really light so you can taste all the very subtle nuances of the coffee. Um, and those things burn away as you continue to roast and, and they get replaced with other like uh, car carbonized right. so on and so forth. That's where you, the darker the roast is where you get into that more bitter astringent. That's right, yeah. So what your roasting profile, you try to pull it out before that I try so to, you get nuanced. I try to roast it to maximize the sugars in the coffee. So I don't want to go beyond caramelization of sugars, which would be carbonization of sugars, okay. which would be burnt. So I want to get to that point and then, and then stop the roast. So it's as sweet as possible. It has the, the most chocolatey, if that co particular coffee is chocolatey, or the most caramelly sensation, if that particular coffee is caramelly, or... You know, like a Ethiopians, uh, some Ethiopians are like buttery or flowery or something. Right. Like, I want to be able to smell and taste all those different subtleties in the coffee. So that How do you talk about your coffee compared to, you know, other coffees? What do you think makes a difference or makes your product kind of the best? Because I, I know it's the best, but what do you have to say about what you guys do? Well, I mean, like I was saying earlier, I, I've roasted with a lot of different types of roasters. And I've known a lot of people through the years that have, everybody has their own opinion on how to do things. Right. And so with working with these different people, I've got, uh, I've had a chance to really get into, you know, this guy's reason for doing it this way and this guy's reason for doing it that way. And uh, um, I just know what the coffee can do, I guess. Right. I, I've been doing it a long time, so I have a good, rapport with the coffee, I suppose you could say. Um, and uh, I, don't know, I, I pay attention to what it's supposed to be doing. There's, uh, there's roast criteria that I try to meet, just like a, an espresso shot has, right. has a, a method to, to making it properly. And it goes the same way with coffee. You don't want to roast it for 30 minutes, and you don't want to, you know, I do it by temperature and time, so my roasts are I, I reproduce the same thing over and over again um, because of my time criteria and my temperature drop. Like all my coffees have a different temperature right. that, that so they, you're, you're, they take. So you're roasting to the bean, like specifically? I, I roast as, as specific to each bean's profile that I can. That I, can. So I guess that people like it that way because <laughs> I get a lot of compliments.
Great I haven't job. had too many, uh, too many complaints, so I think I'm doing things right. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Yep, thank you. Great hanging with you. <laughs>